guys and welcome back to my channel. This is the Creative Campus tour and accommodation video. So I hope you enjoyed. Let's get straight on into this. You might have come here from the Hope Park video. I am Lara, I'm a third year at Liverpool Hope at the moment and I'm making these because it was exactly what I wanted before I came to Hope. I needed to see the rooms, the campus. I'd never been to the campus until applicant day, so I'd actually already applied having not seen the campus before. But I did get to have a look around the accommodation, but I appreciate that that's not possible for everyone and so this is the creative campus accommodation tour and campus tour all in one because there's only one kind of accommodation on the campus but I do hope you find it useful. I've already done one of these for Hope Park and I am also going to do one for Hope Park so subscribe down here, it's down there isn't it? Um, subscribe down below so that you don't miss that and I hope you find this useful. is the second of Liverpool Hope's teaching campuses and includes the historic Cornerstone building, reading rooms, the Cornerstone cafe and halls of residence. The accommodation. All of the accommodation on this campus is en suite and can house 188 students per year. This is perfect for first year undergraduates and returning undergrads who are studying all or part of their course at the creative campus. So this is the only kind of accommodation on campus, they're all en suite in the creative campus and so this is the room. The Gerard Manley Hopkins Hall is a modern purpose built building situated in Angel Field with a, a beautiful landscape garden surrounding the, the cornerstone and captive buildings where Liverpool Hoops creative and performing arts courses are taught. Accessible rooms are also available in these halls. Within each private single study room, there is an ensuite with a shower, toilet and wash hand basin, a sink. They're fully furnished with a single bed, a double wardrobe, study area, chair, drawers and shelves. There's free Wi-Fi as there is on, on all of the Hope accommodation. So you're going to have to bear with the wearing of the bathroom. But this is the Manny Hopkins accommodation on the creative campus. It's the only kind of accommodation that all ensuite on this campus which if you're here is great because you don't have to choose. The ensuite is, again, fairly small, but it's all you need it to be. And then back here, you have a big double wardrobe here. You have a bed and then a bit of storage. There's not loads, I have to say, but there's enough. So let me show you around. So this is the bathroom, just a little mirror, the light up there, and then a shower. Again, it's quite small, but it's all it needs to be. Through here, you have the wardrobe with some coat hangers in it, and then the kind of compartments, which is useful. Which does mean that the wardrobe isn't massive, but it'll do. Moving on further, you've got the bed again, space under the bed to store things. This cupboard is fairly deep, as you can see, it's just got bedding in at the moment, a bin chair, more drawers and then some shelves and a paintboard. So that is this room. This is the creative campus. It's got a nice view with some trees but that's the general overview of the room. There's nothing on the wall. There's a plug socket by the bed. This is fairly typical student accommodation I'd have to say. There's a fully furnished kitchen slash lounge, which are equipped with a fridge, freezer, cooker, microwave, kettle, toaster, iron, ironing board and vacuum cleaner. There's also a TV in the kitchen lounge area. 
And then this is the kitchen kind of lounge area for the Hopkins halls. So you've got your big table, you've got your kind of sofa lounge area, and then you have your kitchen. So in your kitchen you have a fridge freezer, your toaster, kettle, everything you need really. Microwave, induction hob, um, ovens, loads of cupboard space. And for the size of your flat, I think these flats are like four or five people. This is a decent sized kitchen. There's lots of space for activities, let's say that. There's also a TV in here, two windows. It can get quite dark in here. These two are looking out to other kind of flats, so that's why it's a bit darker. If you're looking out towards the road or to the trees, it'd be a bit brighter. There's also another fridge freezer here, just by the door, so there is loads of storage space for your food. Um, so yeah, this is the Manny Hopkins hall, and this is the kitchen living room kind of area. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let's go look at the rest of the campus. And the one common room situated on the campus can be used for meetings, social events, relaxing, pre-drinks, whatever you fancy. The cost is fairly moderate. It's within the middle band of the Hope Park one, although this is en suite. So it includes rent, electricity, gas, free internet, um, and it's based on this academic year currently. But as I said in my other video, it really doesn't change a lot at all. Um, so just keep an eye on the Hope Park website if this is what you're hoping for, for next year going forward. This academic year, it costs £106 per week and it is a 37 week contract, just like all of the other first year and undergrad accommodations, 37 week contract. So for the full year, the 37 week contract at £106 a week, it comes to £3,922. Again, like all other accommodation on campus, there is a £200 deposit that you get refunded back to you at the end of your tenancy, as long as there's no damage or whatever. You get it back, it's a refundable deposit that you get when you sign your accommodation contract. Now let's go to the rest of the campus. The newly expanded site sees state-of-the-art technology and performance and performance spaces, which sit alongside inspirational grade two listed buildings. The creative campus has been transformed with the addition of a purpose-built art centre featuring fine art studio spaces, a film viewing gallery and exhibition spaces. It also houses a graphic design studio, fabrication lab, two theatres, two dance studios, two black box performance spaces, a music, technolo a music technology laboratory, a recording studio and studios for painting, sculpture, wood, ceramics, metal and textiles. With a cafe, a lounge area and accommodation on campus, plus a wealth of shops, bars, restaurants that are all nearby in the city centre, the creative campus is a great place to live and study. There's also a regular free shuttle bus that runs between the creative campus and Hope Park, so if you're based at both campuses it's really easy to get around. The libraries and reading room. The creative campus has two libraries and a lovely reading room like looking out onto the gardens, offering you a quiet space to study and work. If the creative campus doesn't have a book for you, you're in luck. You can request it to be transferred from Hope Park, meaning that you don't miss out. The student success zone. The student success zone is open 24 hours a day during term time. It contains computers, printing facilities and plenty of space for group study as well as comfortable seating for studying. Cafe 1846. The ground floor of the Cornerstone building has been transformed into a vast open plan cafe and meeting area with modern lighting, breakout spaces and a food court. You can enjoy freshly brewed coffees, full hot and cold breakfasts and a new and improved fresh produce lunch menu. Taking inspiration from Southeast Asia, the Caribbean, along with local favourites. Chef Damien will also be showcasing some of his best skills to the staff and students. General living. You never have to worry about, about your washing pile getting too large. There's an on-site laundrette for all our students, for all the students, and if you need any household essentials, there are a wealth of shops close to campus selling everything you need at budget-friendly prices. The Cornerstone Gallery. The Cornerstone Gallery is located in and above the large entrance to the Liverpool Hope City Centre Creative Campus. Practice and research are at the forefront of the gallery philosophy, 
and exhibits artists compromising of a wide range of the best national and international practitioners. The Cornerstone Gallery strives to engage in the discourse with contemporary visual art through an exciting, dynamic exhibition lineup. The programme seeks to engage both students and public audiences with a selection of thematic exhibitions involving significant contemporary art practitioners. Cornerstone exhibitions are crucial to the student experience at Liverpool Hope and works exhibited in ever to enhance both their contextual study and the development of critical faculties. The gallery is also utilised across the Department of Fine and Applied Arts for student-focused professional practice exhibitions and related seminars. Historically, the gallery has hosted such artists such as John Hoyland, Alan Davey, Stuart Sutcliffe, Paula Rego and many others. More recent ex exhibitors include Michael Stubbs, Andrew Bick, John Bunker, Gemma Egan. The exhibitions are free and open daily for the pub for public viewing between 9.30 and 5.30pm. The Capstone Theatre. Liverpool's international arts venue is a stunning concert venue for leading national and international musicians. With some vibrant multi-arts programme featuring concerts of some of the best local musicians, spoken word events, radio broadcasts, plays, dance performances and film screenings. The theatre established the Liverpool International Jazz Festival in 2013 and the Arts Centre. The new Arts Centre has a studio spaces for fine and applied art. The space includes a large refurbished warehouse space and smaller studios, making it the ideal space for creativity and expression. The purpose-built site is located in a newly acquired building located on the front of Shaw Street. And I hope this was useful. It was the campus tour and accommodation tour of the Creative Campus. Subscribe down below so that you don't miss the Egbeth Park one. As I said, I've already done the Hope Park accommodation, but the campus tour is coming early in the new year. So subscribe down below so that you don't miss that. Leave me a comment if you have any more questions and I'll try and get them answered. But if not, just message the SU. I'm sure they'll be able to help you. And if not, have a lovely day and I will see you soon. Bye guys.